Hello, beautiful souls. Um, thank you so much for being here for your daily reading. This is Wednesday, October 3rd, 2018. I do want to thank you for being here. I do want to say a brief message that there won't be any weekly readings this week. I haven't been feeling very well, but I, I'm seeing that I will get better. I just need to take a little bit of a rest. So that's why these have been getting out um, late. I will be focusing on finishing the monthly readings this week. So then next week we can start fresh, clear, and new. So let's see what our energies are for today, October 3rd, 2018. Okay. All right, we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Wands in reverse. The Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords in reverse. Okay, so you're still in a little bit of, <laughs> excuse me, a difficult energy. Okay, I do feel like today you're looking for balance and through order and through, how can I put this? You're trying to find a plan to put things in order. Okay, in order to find balance in your life or in the situations that you're in today. So today you have the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune talks about change. It also talks about dealing with things, um, bringing things up front, and it being the way that the wheel turns. It's the way things were supposed to happen, and you just take it from there. This is a ten, the Wheel of Fortune. Tens also talks about the endings of cycles. Okay, so you're starting into a new cycle now. In the past, it looks like you had let something go, or you weren't ready to face something, or you may have felt as well that someone let you go, or were not ready to face you. Okay, so I feel like you're dealing with that energy or confronting that energy, which is why that's coming up. learning how to get through it, okay? It may be bogging you down or feel heavy on you, but I feel like you're attempting to break through that, which is why today you have the Wheel of Fortune. There's also the Ten of Wands in reverse here. And this talks about it being unfair, feeling like you have to deal with something you're not ready to deal with, or feeling as though You're always the one to fix it. It's like needing someone else to help and fix because it's so much work. This is a difficult this has been a difficult couple of days with this energy. And it just feels heavy. In reverse, it talks about being worn out. In the upright, it talks about having responsibility or something you need to take care of and pushing through. Okay? But this feels like a lot of energy. The Wheel of Fortune talks about today being a day where things just work out and pushes you into a new cycle. Okay, moving forward, there is that Eight of Swords in reverse. And this is about releasing yourself, finding an answer. You may choose to walk away from something or you may find the answers that you're looking for. But once you confront the situation and take the blindfolds off as this, this hawk has, okay, this blindfold keeps you from seeing things clearly, seeing things deeper than they, as deep as they, as you need to go. And this is very difficult. This is very difficult energy. So it's hard to do, but you will have that. You will be able to release those constraints moving forward. Okay. Or that's the focus are releasing those so you can come out of this. They're telling me to pull another card. Um, cut the deck. Okay. There it is. The nine of swords in reverse. That's a ray of hope. Good news. Things opening up, not needing to fight, not needing to be fearful of something, seeing it for what it is. I'm seeing this is very interesting. There's a Panther in this card. 
and I see like a birthday hat or this panther being dressed up. So something that was very fit that you were extremely fearful of being seen from a different light. Okay. Um, seeing from a lighter perspective instead of getting so deep and so emotional into things. Okay. Because with the pentacles, that's heavy energy. The wands, you're having difficulty pushing through, but the will of fortune comes to change things, change perspectives, and also bring into the situation a new being for you. Okay, so you can have some balance. And that's your path. Your path and the answer that you're looking for, it's like you're looking for a one, two, three to you know, like a step-by-step -step process on how to get through this, but it's more about looking at it differently, okay? And something showing up as an epiphany because of the will of fortune, okay? You have honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. If you're looking for other people, of someone else to change or a situation to change, I don't feel like it is. I feel like the other half of your issue or what's going on with you is just what it is. Okay. And it's about you changing your perspectives and you being honest with yourself. And by doing that, you release this blindfold and you're able to see, and you're also not as troubled and not as worried. Okay, because you're kind of going with the flow, letting things happen. And that's what the will of fortune does. Okay, so thank you so much for listening and I will see you tomorrow. I love you very much. Love and light. Bye bye.